In this video, I'm gonna share with you the truth about creating a smart and simple social media plan. Hey everybody, Katie Lance here, founder and CEO of Katie Lance Consulting, the Get Social Smart Academy, and all through the book, Get Social Smart, and it's episode 123 of the Get Social Smart Show. And today I wanna to share with you just three simple tips for how to create a simple and smart social media strategy, especially if you're in real estate. Tip number one, remember, it takes time. I see you shiver with anticipation. It takes time, and I think this is one of the things that's hardest for probably a lot of agents and brokers with your social media strategy, right? You go to an event, you listen to a video, you get really fired up, you start posting, maybe you do a Facebook Live, and then you don't get traction from it. And maybe you're even someone who has a really consistent plan together and you're posting each and every week and you've got some great quality content and maybe you're still not seeing the results. And that can be really frustrating. The thing to keep in mind is this, social media is a marathon and not a sprint. And just like any other marketing, it takes time. I know for a lot of you, you've done traditional marketing over the years. Maybe you're someone who's done door knocking or farming, you've been sending postcards, and you know it takes time. Sometimes it takes six, 12, 18 months, 24 months, sometimes years to get traction. There's a great book I wanna recommend. Uh, the book is called Known. Some of you have heard me talk about this before. It's written by Mark Schaefer, who's an amazing speaker. Uh, and we'll link to that book below so you can check it out. But this book talks about how long does it take to get known in any industry. And the thing is for most people to get known, it takes eight, 12 months, sometimes 18 months, sometimes a little bit longer. So just understand that it does take patience and it does take time. That's number one. Number two, quality versus quantity. If you wanna create a smart and simple social media plan, here's the good news. You don't have to post 27 times a day, each and every day. It truly is about quality, not quantity. And so often I see agents and brokers who are just sharing posts from somebody else, but they're not creating their own content. In this day and age, one of the best and fastest ways to get traction on social media is to invest time, money, and resources in putting out quality pieces of content. So what's a quality piece of content? Quality piece of content is something like this, video content or Facebook Live content. Maybe it's video content. It could be graphics that you create, but typically it's something that's unique to you, right? So of course you could share maybe an article that somebody else read or somebody else wrote, but how about instead of just sharing a link to an article that you read, how about if you do a video about it and you could say, hey, I just read this great article in the Wall Street Journal about X, Y, and Z, and here's my opinion about it. Right? And that's the difference between just putting out content for the sake of content and actually putting out content that has a voice. And what we've found from the agents and brokers that we've worked with are the agents and brokers that are consistently putting out quality content that's in their voice, that has their opinion, they're helping to attract the people they wanna work with. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, attracting clients versus chasing leads. My third tip is you have to actually have a plan. You have to actually physically have a plan. And I know that sounds really simple. We talk a lot about that when it comes to goal setting. If you, have a, you might have a business plan, we think about planning and all different types of our business. I don't mean just a plan in your head. I mean really taking the time to write out a plan. And as much as I love my phone and all the digital tools, there is truly something uh, magical about writing it down and starting to put pen to paper. And a lot of times we don't start a plan because we think, well, I don't have all the pieces in place. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do the plan. So then we never do a plan. So start small, it doesn't have to be overly complicated. Start with a notepad and a pen, start by brainstorming topics you get asked all the time. I bet you if you sat down and thought about all the questions you get asked all the time, all the conversations that you have with clients, you could probably come up with dozens upon dozens of content ideas. I always say, look at your life as content. And then start to put pen to paper and really start to create a plan. I wanna give you a free, a free resource that we love to use. There's a free website called calendarlabs.com. Calendarlabs.com is an awesome free resource where you can go, go in and download free calendar templates, weekly or monthly or even daily. And that's a great place to start as you start to think about your system and your strategy. I'd also recommend when you think about a plan, is create a plan that is simple for you to, to move forward with 
right? Create something that is easy for you uh, to move forward with each and every day. Because when you make something a habit, it just becomes integrated into what you do. So what I would recommend is instead of thinking about the next 12 months, which can feel a little daunting, think about a weekly schedule. What is a weekly schedule you could commit to? Maybe it's every Monday you're gonna do Monday market update. Maybe every Tuesday's Tip Tuesday. Maybe every Thursday's Throwback Thursday. Pick a couple days, get into a routine, put it in your calendar, and then start to make it happen, right? So all of those things can make a big difference. Be patient, create unique content, focus on that quality versus quantity, and then create that plan. Now, if you've felt stuck at all when it comes to a plan or you felt stuck at all when it comes to content, I encourage you to download our free content grid. We have literally had tens of thousands of agents and brokers over the years download our content grid. And if you have not had a chance to download it or maybe you downloaded it a long time ago, but you lost it somewhere in the, in the, in the shuffle, just go to katielance.com forward slash content grid, put your name and email in, and we will email you our content grid, which you can print out. And when you're sitting down to create your content and create your plan, you've got more than 30 content ideas and some great resources for putting that plan together. Now, as always, if you are watching this video and you like what we have to say and you're watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button and the bell button because that way you'll be notified when we have new episodes that come out each and every week. I'd love to hear from you. What struggles are you having with social media? What's your number one struggle with social media? Put those in the comments below. I'll be jumping in the comments to answer any of the questions that you might have. And for more tips, tools, and strategies when it comes to social media, please visit us at katielance.com. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.